Hello, I wanted to teach you a magic trick. Now this is a really fun magic trick and it's a really fun one to do for kids. But I wanna tell you a couple little things, okay? Some magic tricks are best done to music. And this is definitely one of those tricks. Now normally I pick something a little more jaunty, a little more uplifting, but YouTube has some weird rules about music. And so if I played the regular music that I normally play, it might block this video and I don't want to do that. So I picked something that was public domain. Uh, I think you'll recognize it. And uh, I'll go ahead and start that now and I'll show you the trick. <laughs> This is one of my favorite tricks to open a magic show with. It's very simple, it's very easy, and you can use almost any object that you want as long as you can relatively easy fit it in your mouth. Now, this one, I used fake practice golf balls. These are actually just a tiny bit too large for me. I was actually looking for ping pong balls, which are just slightly smaller but you need something that you can easily fit inside your mouth. Now, here's the thing. You can use smaller objects. In fact, when I do a pirate show, I actually put a coin in my mouth, like a gold coin, and uh, that kind of gives it the pirate theme. But it's not quite as impressive as if something is just impossibly large that's coming out of your mouth. So what I wanted to show you is how this trick is done. It's incredibly simple. You might have guessed it, but for kids, it's just fantastic. They love it. What you do is, of course, you put this in your mouth. Oh, what really is in your mouth? Hey, oh, hey. And you've got a second ball in your hand. Now, you could say that this ball is palmed, but I, I think that's kind of a grand gesture. It's really just in your fist. And the, the idea is just have your hand turned so the ball is not immediately visible to the spectator. And what you do is, is when the ball is in your mouth, you open to show it to everyone, make big faces. You're, you're not talking, so you really need to mug for the camera, mug for the children. And you reach up, and as you reach up with the other ball in your hand, you let that other ball in your mouth just fall backwards and then this one comes to the forefront in your hand. That's the move and it's the only move in the trick. It's just perfecting that move. Now, I'm going to show it to you since obviously I can't talk when there is a giant fake golf ball in my mouth. <laughs> but I want to show you the move from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, you can do that over and over again. It's really a matter of perfection and choice of how many times you do it. Now, here's the thing. You only need a few things for this. You need a lot of the things that you're going to put in your mouth. They can be a practice golf ball. They could be a ping pong ball. Of 
course, please do be careful and don't choke yourself. I would appreciate that. Also, uh, you'll need something that is opaque to put them in. Now, when I do this for real, I actually do have a metal tin that I put them in. And it takes a little more skill to use a metal tin because they have a tendency to rattle. Because what you've got is all of the other balls that you had are already inside. But as you saw, I can also you can also just use a bag and it's a little bit easier to use a bag because uh, they don't rattle quite as much. And what you're doing is you are taking your hand and you are reaching in as if you are placing the ball in there, but all you're really doing is as you reach down, you're just grabbing it again with your hand. You never actually let go of the ball in your hand until the last time. On the last time, you can even make a big deal out of it. You can even throw it in there. So what you start with is one ball in your mouth, one ball in your hand, and a whole bunch of balls. They all need to be the same in the bag. One ball in your mouth, one ball in your hand, one ball, a whole bunch of balls in the bag. Now, you might ask yourself, how am I going to get a ball in my mouth without anybody noticing? What did I do at the beginning? I started the music. Just tell them. I need to, uh, you're, you're going to really like this trick. Let me just get this music going. It's much more fun with the music. And simply angle it. Set it up beforehand. When I do this, I have a, a large metal suitcase that I put uh, these various objects in. And when I reach in to start the music, I simply bow my head down. It's hidden by the metal of the suitcase and I whoop, eh, pop it into my mouth. And you come up and you're mugging with the music and that hides the fact that your mouth is slightly distorted by the ball. You're doing like a big <laughs> and your big stretchy face is one very, very funny. The kids will love it, but it also is hiding the fact that there's something in your mouth. And have fun with it. Really have fun with it. Show the dismay on your face that yet another ball has come. Uh, you can do it all kinds of ways. You can do a very shocked face. Mm -hmm. You can do almost a crying. <laughs> and when you're very good, you can do a series. Just a, like, oh boy, we're just, we're just going for it now. Mm. 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 But remember, each time your hand needs to go into that bag, you are transmitting without saying it. You're not saying, I'm putting this new ball in the bag and I'm not holding it in my hand. You just do it. And people instinctively know. The thing that I recommend is that you get yourself a uh, iPhone or anything else to record and you practice doing it in the mirror over and over and over and over again. Because all you're really doing is learning that one move. And it's simply a timing issue of making sure that your mouth has closed in time to hide the fact that the other ball is coming out of your hand. It's a very quick motion and most people will not catch it. The other thing to remember again, this is for kids. You're not trying to do a masterful wizardry. You're not making someone levitate. You're just doing a really fun thing. The more fun the children have doing a magic trick, the easier it is for you, because the more they're willing to suspend their disbelief. If you're being all dark and serious, they're going to watch you carefully, but they're also going to nitpick you and try to find out what you did. But if they're laughing and crying and just being silly with you, then you have already won. And what I highly recommend is 
So when you do the last one, you can try all kinds of different things. I didn't do it because I'm recording it right here. If you really want to be fancy on that last one, you can spit it up into the air oh, and try to catch it in the bag. Now only do that if you're very confident with it, but it's a lot of fun if you can. If not, you can also just oh, spit it into the bag. And the real thing that sells this is then to turn over the bag and let all of them spill out. Now, if you're using coins, another thing you can do is simply turn it and let all of the coins fall into your hand, shake them, that sort of thing. Uh, you should also be aware, if you let things go everywhere, just be aware that some kids are going to be a little grabby and grab for them. Don't worry about it too much. You can always collect them later, or you can let them keep them. I bought all of these practice golf balls for a dollar and a half. So I want you to practice, I want you to have lots of fun, and you just think with just a tiny bit of preparation and a dollar and a half worth of practice golf balls, you could make some child's birthday extra special. Will you try that for me? All right, you have lots of fun, and I'll talk to you soon.